afternoon, Nakusa High School. Today is December 8th. We are wishing a happy birthday to Miley Mackey today. And over the weekend, happy birthday to Miss Stralo and Andrea Durr. Tonight, there is a home girls basketball game versus Portage. And on Saturday, a boys and girls wrestling invite in Euclid. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's pretty simple to throw your trash away. I mean, you pick it up and take it to the garbage, right? Well, apparently there's been an issue of students leaving their lunch trays in garbage at the lunch tables. Mr. Dudley, one of the custodians at NHS, provided his opinion on the matter, saying that this is an ongoing issue with food and garbage being left at tables on a daily basis. And it happens to be the same people that leave their garbage and personal belongings on the lunch tables, leaving them abandoned. I also talked to, to Ms. Baldwin about the consequences when being caught leaving trash on the tables. She said if they leave a big mess and a teacher sees it, they would go back and clean their mess. If it ends up becoming a pattern, however, the student's parents would be talked to by Ms. Baldwin. To be frank, throw away your trash, guys. With the first semester coming to a close, I interviewed two former NHS students, Ethan Hugesiger and Ms. Seipel, about advice for seniors who are or are thinking about going to college after graduation. Some things that were difficult transferring from high school to college. Um, I'd say one of the most difficult things was living on my own. So going from depending on your parents for everything to depending on yourself for everything. Um, also living with a complete stranger. I went into the dorms and I met my roommate the day that we both moved in. So that was an interesting dynamic to figure out. Honestly, just being away from friends and family that I've spent my whole life growing up with. Um, honestly, school wasn't that much more challenging, but I did go and do a little bit more hands-on, not as much like homework field, so that was, that was the main challenge for me. Uh, when going to college, do you recommend living in a dorm? I do. I feel like you get the best experience from college through living in a dorm. Um, you learn to live with somebody who you don't know, so you have to work through your issues there. Um, you have your own community when you live in the dorm. You make friends easier, um, which is harder at college than it is at high school. Most places have you living in a dorm regardless if you're a freshman, um, just because they want you to live on campus but if you have the option to live in like a house or off campus I would I would say that's a good idea. Can you get accustomed to college to the college experience early on? Um, I would say that you should be involved with what's going on um, whether that's joining an intramural sports team or joining like an acapella group or some sort of club in your major um, but just getting out and not just sitting in your dorm room, making friends, doing that kind of thing. Honestly, do as much as you can right away so you can meet as many new people as you can. I had the, had the privilege to meet a lot of people through sports, so that was kind of my end, but a lot of other people, you know, going through different clubs and going to different... Uh, what advice do you have for this year's seniors and those to come? Um, I would say that, I guess I already said it, get involved, um, make friends. Um, don't come home for the first four to six weeks. Stay at school, push through your homesickness, um, because if you come home right away, then you never really get past that. You kind of stay in this perpetual loop of feeling homesick. So once you push past your initial homesickness, I think uh, your college experience gets a lot better. You feel like you are more independent and you're less dependent on your parents for things. One advice for this year's seniors would probably be to just risk it, honestly. If you wanna 
go to college and be a doctor, go do that. If you want to start a business, do that. If you want to do anything, just do it. Because you're only going to be 18, 19, 20 years old once in your life. If it doesn't work out, then you're out a little bit of money, but money is replaceable and your time is not. Thank you for letting me interview you both. Now on to Landon with the Nakusa newsletter. I heard of a blog being created this year, so I decided to interview the creator of the blog and ask her a few questions about it. First question, what is the blog? The blog is like NHSN, but it goes, instead of doing like a whole bunch of topics, it goes more in depth and do about two, yeah. one to two topics. Okay. Who is the blog intended for? Uh, just anyone who wants to know about any, about like the school and what's going on. How often will you update the blog? Uh, about once a quarter. How long did it take you to create that? Uh, I've been working on it since the beginning of the year, so. Why did you create the blog? Uh, as someone who likes reading more than watching videos, I just think it's easier, and it goes more in depth into more specific topics. Is there anybody else helping you write? Uh, no, it's just me. Thanks for letting me interview. If you want to check out the blog, use the URL below. To learn more about Student Council, I interviewed Alexa Borboom. What does Student Council do? Primarily, we're the voice between the staff and the students at school, and we also plan events like homecoming, we run spirit points, we do all those sort of things. What has a Student Council done in the past? Um, this year we've done homecoming, we've done blood drives, we've done fundraiser for the Family Center in Wisconsin Rapids, we've done apple cider, um, we typically do all the spirit point stuff, and last year we did a dodgeball tournament, we do kickball, um, most of the events at school are planned by us. If you were interested in joining Student Council, how could you sign up? Um, at semester, we'll be taking new people, so you can come to our meeting in Mr. Birch's room on Thursdays during lunch, or you can email me, Mr. Birch, or Mrs. Boy. Thanks for letting me know more about Student Council. That's a lamp for today's NHS News. Make sure you tune in next week for next week's NHS News. That's a lamp. Stay safe this weekend. Have a great weekend. Be safe. And thank you. Signing out. Kamari Posh, Leah Wilhorn, and Kata Weezy. See you next time.